I want to give you some practice with scientific notation. So in this video, I'm going to do 12 example problems step by step. So by the end, this stuff should be really easy. Here's our first example, 483. We want to put it into scientific notation. So where's a decimal point? Well, it's not written in this number, but we know that it's right here. So I'm going to put it in. Now, to put this in scientific notation, we need to move this decimal place so that there is only one digit, one digit that isn't zero, to its left. Okay, so that means that I'm going to move the decimal place over two spots so that it's right here. So now I have just one digit, and that's the four that's to the left of it. And then everything else is on the other side. So I could rewrite this number as 4.83 because I moved the decimal place to here. That's half of it. Now the other half in scientific notation is we have 10 with an exponent on it. So what's the exponent on 10 going to be in this example? Well, I like to think that we start out when the decimal place is here, we start out with the exponent being 0. Decimal place is here and we, we're, we're starting out at 10 to the 0. And then when I move the decimal place to the left, what I have right here, the exponent on 10 goes up. Okay, so I started at 10 to the 0 here. Move it one spot, now it's 10 to the 1st. Move it another spot, now it's 10 to the 2nd. So the exponent part of my number is going to be 10 to the 2nd because I moved this decimal place two spots to the left and the exponent went up. So 4.83 times 10 to the 2nd. This number over here is already written in scientific notation, so I want to take it out of scientific notation. I'm starting at 10 to the fifth here. And to take a number out of scientific notation, I want to move the decimal place so that this number on 10, the exponent, goes back down to 0. Okay, So it's at 5 right now, and I want the exponent to go down. So take a look at these rules up here. I want to move the decimal place to the right so that the exponent will go down. So I have 3.001, and at right now I'm at 10 to the fifth. So moving it right one spot, 10 to the fourth. Okay, move it right another spot, 10 to the third, 10 to the second, 10 to the first, 10 to the zero. And here's my new decimal place. Now you'll see that I moved the decimal point beyond where there were numbers. I ran out of some of these digits and I introduced two new spots. All you gotta do is fill those in with zeros if that happens. So when I rewrite my number so it's a little bit neater, I end up with 300,100. And again, all I did was move the decimal place to the right so that the exponent went down from 5 down to 0. Okay, we want to write this in scientific notation. So I want to move the decimal place so that there is one number that isn't a 0 to the left of it. So these are all zeros, so I'm going to move it past all these and I'm going to put it right here. So then I have the 2, that's not a 0, and it's to the left of where the decimal place is going to be. We'll be moving it to the right, which means that the exponent on 10 is going down. As we said before, if a number isn't already written in scientific notation, it starts at 10 to the 0. So when the decimal place is right here, we're at 10 to the 0. Now we'll move it to the right, and we're going to start going lower than 1, so we're going to get into the negatives. So we start at 0, then we go to 10 to the negative first, 10 to the negative second, 10 to the negative third, 10 to the negative fourth, 10 to the negative fifth, 10 to the negative sixth, 10 to the negative seventh. And our new decimal spot location is right here. So when I rewrite the number, I don't worry about any of these zeros here because they all come before uh, this non-zero digit, and then I write 2.3 times 10 to the negative seventh. This number here, I want to take it out of scientific notation. So I get 10 to the negative fourth here. I'm going to be moving the decimal place so that this negative fourth comes back up to, uh, to zero. Now, notice that this is a negative number here. Some people get confused by this, but the negative number in front of 7.6 has nothing to do with the negative number in the exponent. So don't be confused by this. They are totally separate. So what I usually do is I just leave this negative sign out until the very end and then I put it back in. Anyway, I'm starting with uh, 7.6. 
we want this 10 to the negative fourth to come back up to zero. We want it to move up, exponent moving up, so we will move the decimal place to the left. Okay, starting at 10 to the negative fourth, negative third, negative second, negative first, zero. I introduced a few new spots, and I'll fill those in with zeros. So the final answer will be 0 0.00076. Don't forget that it's a negative number, so we'll add that negative sign there. And this is what our final answer taken out of scientific notation looks like. Now, here are a couple example problems. Uh, that are a little bit trickier. Sometimes people get tripped up by some of what's in here, so I'll go through here step by step. We'll be taking this number, putting it into scientific notation. There isn't a decimal place written in right now, but we know that it should be here, so I'll draw it there. Now, I want to move this decimal place, so all the way over here, so that there is this 8 to the left of it, and everything else is on the other side. And since I'll be moving it to the left, the exponent on 10 will be going up. We start at 10 to the 0 because it's not yet in scientific notation. We're moving up, 10 to the 1st, 10 to the 2nd, 10 to the 3rd, 10 to the 4th, 10 to the 5th, 10 to the 6th, 10 to the 7th. So that's that part of it. And now I'm going to do 8, and what else? Nothing else, okay? It's just 8. This can be confusing because we're so used to scientific notation always being like 8.113 or 8. 865. But we also get rid of these zeros, okay? So if there's nothing except for zeros to the right of the decimal place, just leave it out. This is an 8 point anything. We don't even write the decimal place in here, okay? It's just 8 times 10 to the 7th. We'll put this, we'll, we'll get this out of scientific notation and start with 4.29. I'm at 10 to the negative first. So I want to go up to 10 to the 0. So I want the exponent to go up. This means that I'll be moving the decimal place to the left. So 10 to the negative first right here, move one spot to the left, and now it's 10 to the 0. So 0 0.429. So you have to move the decimal place, but sometimes you don't have to move it very far. Negative 9 times 10 to the fifth. This is kind of like this one here, because we just have one number, no decimal place, nothing after the decimal place, but you know where the decimal place should be. So we'll write it in here like 9 point, because that's where the decimal would be. It's a negative number. We'll leave that negative out till the very end. It doesn't have any bearing on what we're going to be doing with the decimal. So to get it out of scientific notation, we'll be taking the 10 to the fifth and bumping that exponent back down to zero. To get the exponent down, we'll be moving the decimal place to the right here, okay? Starts at 10 to the 5th, 10 to the 4th, 10 to the 3rd, 10 to the 2nd, 10 to the 1st, 10 to the 0. Introduced a lot of new spaces here. Fill those in with zeros. And 900,000 is what I get. Don't forget to make a negative. And that's the final answer. Here we're going to put it into scientific notation. Again, it's negative. Just leave that till the very end. I'll have to put in a decimal because it wasn't already written here. I'll be moving it all the way over here, moving it to the left, so the exponent on 10 is going to be going up. Starting at 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1st, 10 to the 2nd, 10 to the 3rd, 10 to the 4th, 10 to the 5th, 10 to the 6th. And the decimal place ends up right here. Sometimes this confuses people, because they're used to having um, they're, they're used to getting rid of the zeros on one side of the decimal place. So like, what do I do here? Because there, there's zeros here, but then there's this 2, right? Well, we, we keep any zeros that are between numbers that are not zero. Okay, so there's a 1 here, and there's a 2 here, so we keep all the zeros that are in between them. But then these zeros here that are all the way on the right, we will get rid of these. Our final answer is going to look like 1.002, and then that's negative. So we keep these because they're between the non-zero numbers, but then we get rid of everything there on the right. So that's what that looks like. I got four more here. If you really have gotten the hang of this, no need to keep watching, but a little practice can't hurt if you're still feeling a little uncertain. Start here, put it in scientific notation. 
I'm going to be moving the decimal place in this direction to the right so the exponent goes down. Starting at 10 to the 0, 10 to the negative first, negative second, negative third, negative fourth, negative fifth, negative sixth, negative seventh. There's a 0 here, but it's sandwiched between these two non-zero digits, so we don't worry about it. Oh, I totally forgot what the exponent was. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. Times 10 to the negative 7th. Thanks for hanging in with me there. 3.08 times 10 to the negative 7th. Take this out of scientific notation. 9.53. I'm starting at negative 6. I've got to go up to 0. So I'm going to be moving the decimal place left. So the exponent goes up. Negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. Fill in each one of these new spaces with a 0, and I get 0 0.0000953. Okay, two more. Put this into scientific notation. Decimal places here. Move in right. Exponent goes down. Start at 10 to the 0, 10 to the negative 1. 10 to the negative 2, 10 to the negative 3, 10 to the negative 4, 10 to the negative 5. 5.713. We don't keep any of these zeros here that are on the left hand side. And this is our final answer. Okay, and finally we're going to take this out of scientific notation. Starting at 10 to the second, want to get that to 10 to the 0, want the exponent code to go down. So I'm going to move the decimal place to the right. So 10 to the second, 10 to the first, 10 to the zero, 324.8. Sometimes questions like this confuse people because they're, they're used to moving the, the decimal place um, beyond where there are numbers, right? Where you have to like add in zeros or get rid of zeros. But sometimes all you have to do is just move the decimal place in between digits like here. Just because you're not adding or getting rid of zeros doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. Sometimes all you have to do is move the decimal place a couple spots like this. You don't introduce or get rid of any zeros. It's fine. Okay, so that's how you do these scientific notation problems. Just a few things you got to keep in mind. If you move the decimal place to the left, the exponent on 10 goes up. If you move the decimal place to the right, the exponent on 10 goes down. If your number is not yet in scientific notation, you start at 10 to the 0. And if your number is already in scientific notation like these, you want to move the decimal place to get the exponent on 10 either up to 0 or down to 0. So that's all you got to do. Now, if you have time, please, please, please watch the video called uh, Understanding Scientific Notation. because It's good to be able to move the decimal place back and forth and change the exponent on 10. That's great. It's an important skill. But it's just as important to understand the math behind what's actually going on here. So that you can do more than just move the decimal place, but you can look at a number like this and really understand what's going on. So please, please, please watch that if you have the time. But if you don't, if this is the only time you have, you'll be great. This is a really solid foundation for how to write numbers in scientific notation and how to get numbers out of scientific notation.